everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Friday. I am back. 1095 candle sale at Fast and Body Works. We are going to start talking about the Pine family. Earlier today, I did a big video about all of the candles at the Bath and Body Works candle sale. And I really want to focus on the pine candles because you might not know which one to buy. It's very difficult to figure it out, especially if you're shopping online. So I'm going to start with the most famous of the Bath and Body Works pine candles. It is Fresh Balsam. It does come in the Polar Planet candle jar design, which I think is my favorite. It also comes in the um, White Barn. White Barn and that kind of classic holiday traditions look, but this is my favorite. Look at the lid. Like this lid alone is like super giftable. By the way, um, if you get one of the bags at Bath and Body Works, the cellophane bags, you can actually put a candle in here. I'm gonna show you. Hey guys, look at this, look at this. How pretty is this? And then you can put a ribbon around it and um, you got a great holiday gift. Like if you're doing a housewarming gift for someone, that's the way to do it. Fresh balsam is the most famous balsam at Bath and Body Works. It is woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. The eucalyptus and the cedar wood make it really strong. It does have a woodsy vibe to it, but I think it's the eucalyptus that really makes this one um, stand out. It's very distinctive. So if you want that really strong, eucalyptus balsam, you're going to go with the fresh balsam. Okay, next on the list, we have under the Christmas tree. I think this one joined a couple years ago. Remember we had it in the green glass jar? This lid's pretty too. It's gold. Get a little wreath on there. This one is fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. It's got a little bit of a creamier note to it. It doesn't smell like eggnog, though. A lot of people are like, does it smell like eggnog? No. It does have this very interesting, creamy, um, slightly dried, like, not flowers, but like dried outdoorsy um, needles and leaves. It's got like a, like an herby vibe to it, but it's also got the creamy vibe. It's funny because I really think after like smelling these for the past like half hour and talking about them for so many years, um, Under the Christmas Tree is actually my least favorite. I don't love the vanilla eggnog in here. I think it's a little bit confusing and um, it's just, it really is not my favorite. I've, I've figured that out um, past couple years, which brings us to Tree Farm. Tree Farm also came out a couple of years ago. Usually they do a like a truck on here. I think there's another Tree Farm in this style jar with the silver. It's it's a nice one. This is a white barn. This one is crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. I love Tree Farm. Love it. Apple that really brings this one together. Um, it's got the it's got cedar in it. Um, Fresh balsam has cedar wood, so it's got like that kind of cedary note to it, but it's really the spiced apple that gives this one the kick. To me, it smells very outdoorsy. It's very homey. Um, crisp pine, it, kind of, it feels like it's snowing, uh, but the apple note really gives this one the unique scent. So if you want a touch of fruit in your pine, go with Tree Farm. Okay, next up, we have Frosted Forest. This came out a couple years ago. A lot of people are saying the scent notes are different. I seem to remember this smelling the same, though. I don't have another Frosted Forest on me, but it smells really good. So this one is Winter Pine Needles, Frosted Eucalyptus, and Icy Peppermint. So it's got the eucalyptus and the pine, like fresh balsam, but it's also got that Icy Peppermint note. I love this one. So the peppermint just gives it that really cool, wintry, it's snowing all over the place. This to me is the snowiest of the four. And um, it's funny, I think it's so hard with these pines. Um, if I had to like rank them, I would say fresh balsam is like my favorite because it's so classic. I mean, 
you gotta love fresh balls at Christmas. Tied for second are Frosted Forest, when I'm in the mood for peppermint with my pine, and then Tree Farm, when I'm in the mood for apple with my pine. But they're both really good. Under the Christmas tree, like I said, just isn't resonating with me too much these, um, this year. You know, even last year, I was like, I don't love the eggnog. I'd rather just have vanilla eggnog. Don't put pine in my eggnog. However, there is a candle called, I think it's called Vanilla Balsam. I haven't seen it this year. That's a good one. Goose Creek is one that smells very similar. So if you're looking for a vanilla balsam, you might want to check them out. I don't know. Somehow the eggnog, I don't know if it's a sage. I don't love Under the Christmas Tree very much. So those are your basic four balsamy candles. If you want a little bit of balsam, believe it or not, Twisted Peppermint has balsam in it. But it doesn't smell like balsam. This is like full-on peppermint. But there's like a lit, there's just a little bit, a little bit of balsam in there. However, the perfect Christmas has more, but it's got cinnamon. So this one's fresh cut pine, toasted, uh, oh, cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow. So if you like your pine with a lot of cinnamon, I mean, we're talking a lot of cinnamon and some marshmallow, you're going to go with um, the perfect Christmas. This one actually has a really strong spicy note in it that a lot of people find slightly off-putting. I like it though. I mean, once you start burning it, this is a this is a favorite for a lot of people, and it's like powerhouse. Strong, strong, strong. So I'm gonna review a lot of these individually. I did review fresh balsam already, but that's kind of your balsam family. I would say um the core five, the um the perfect Christmas. You know, except it's got the cinnamon in it. I mean, there's a lot of cinnamon. That's why I didn't put it, like, with the four. Because I feel like there's more cinnamon than balsam. I don't really get, like, that... You know what I get? You know what's interesting about... I'm just getting it now. The Perfect Christmas. It smells like sap a little bit. Kind of like that pine cone sappiness. Which is good. I like it. I like that one. Um. So, anyway, let me know... Your favorite balsam candle at Bath and Body Works for Christmas? Boy, I'm definitely in the mood for some balsam now. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, honestly, like, I think Frosted Forest is just doing it for me, like, big time. I'm like, bring on the Frosted Forest. I don't want snow yet, though. So, they're all good. Anyway, uh, that's a breakdown of your pine tree candles. Now, if we could just have a pine tree body care... If you need a pine tree body care, uh, definitely check out the Dwell 212 uh, by Slacken and Company because this is really good. I got to do a full review on this. Lenny and I talked about it, but I want to do a bigger review. Anyway, um, have a great day, guys. I will be back later. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.